we're starting to do attacks that are more advanced in nature. I know some of you have been joining this for sure about that. But if you can start developing the, the, the knowledge and the understanding of how to escape position. And we're off to the races. Sea biscuit in front. which is a very important guard to know. It's inside. You want to go as deep as possible here. This hand on the chest here. So you don't get choked or you know sometimes they can do for flying kibora. So you come here tight. Everything tight. Now I don't go, I'm not gonna go back. I'm gonna go sideways. And look, I go sideways here. And then I you see how I'm lifting his leg? And then the hand that was on the chest is blocking on the uh, on the knee and then I slide his leg and there they are. Single legs. One more time. Here to here. Okay, I want you to get comfortable with that. Shin on shin entrance now. One, two, three. Okay. Bring one knee down like you just did a moment ago. You can also do it from here. You can do this from here the same way. You can be here and grab and look here. Then you can start doing all kinds of attacks from here. This happens, this is almost game over for him. I can go here, I can weave the leg here, post on this foot, so I give you more space. So I can, so I can go all the way through here, sit back. Right? I'll do all kinds of positions here. It's easy to finish your opponent, right? Remember we work on the Z-lock, where you grab this leg and you just get under, and this is a submission right around there. So you need to understand when you can skate and when it's time to come. Look, so if he comes here and scoot your hips closer to me, you see how his knee is completely above, my, above his pelvis? This is already a very compromising position. Okay, if he has his toes hidden under my armpit and he has this, this is too late. This is too late. I mean, I, I, what am I gonna go here? I cannot turn my knee, he has two legs into mine. He, look, look, I cannot even straighten my leg here. Right? So, in the moment he starts putting pressure, I mean, he's going to start creating damage, right? Uh, even if I skate this leg, but he has the toes, right now, control my knee. You need to, yeah, like that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Okay? Even if I'm here, he has my knee. So I cannot, you say I cannot turn. I got a drop here, okay? However, if this knee manages to get, I skate this one, and then I go here, and I bring my knee down, now I can skate. Inches, now I can skate. Because grab my heel, grab my heel. From here I don't care if he's grabbing the heel. Even turn, 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 turn. You cannot put pressure, you understand? Logically, and then you physically practice it so you know, okay, I'm okay here. Oh, I'm not okay here, you understand? At this point, even if my toes get cut, cut there, look, I can turn here, guys. I'm out. Okay, so I want you to learn how to clear your knee line, and he cannot have control. He cannot have control over this leg. Like he cannot have control over the other leg because then I cannot move. So look, can block, clear this leg, bring it in, and then push my knees down. Okay, put my knee down. Look, if you wanna try this from here, I'm gonna spin. From here, I can spin. Okay. You see, I'm off. No problem.
you want to compete at higher levels, it's required for you to know it. If you don't know it, it's like, you know, <laughs> it's not good. Okay? So with that said, great training, everybody. Feet together. Close. Close.